Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another day in a mad thrifter's world. <laughs> diving straight into this um, abstract sheer oversized dress barn top um, this is a size 1x I did thrift this um, a while ago um, so the shirt feels like the tag is pretty old and it looks pretty old and also feels very old too so um i'm not sure where the, where you can get this from um if you are interested in it it is for sale um you can go on my instagram or just email me at what she thrifts at gmail.com and um that's pretty much it guys if you have not liked or subscribed to this channel please do so and thank you so much to my 100 subscribers guys i appreciate you um but let's go ahead like i said um long sleeve oversized dress barn top it is a size 1x and um when you see the videos of me uh, maximizing it you're going to be like why well, did not think of that like these are stuff these are things that are quick and easy and i'm going to stop being lazy and order me some more heavy duty safety pins guys because in these videos you will also see me using my cheap ones but that's okay um thanks for watching guys and if you haven't already liked and subscribed please do so let's get into it so we can get into it hey guys what is up you know i'd like to give you guys a front view and a back view of the shirt before we get maximizing so here it is so for this look um, you're going to first unbutton the shirt. Um, I know if you're at home, they're not going to be buttoned. Of course, I had to wear a bra, but I didn't wear, I don't wear um, bras in the videos, but I did because I couldn't show you guys my goodies again. Um, so you're going to take one side of the shirt. Make sure you flip the collar down and then flip all the buttons inside as well. Um, you're not going to take the shirt off. Just roll the inside as well, just like you did with that one side. Now choose whichever side you want, um, but... I chose this side and um, you're going to take after you fold the buttons and you're going to take one side and pull it around to the back just like so leave that side down you actually pull that down because you want it to be a little fitted on um, the other side too so wrap one side around your waist and then pull the other side down and keep pulling until you get it um, as tight as you would like it to be um, because you're going to use that to wrap it around to give you your stability and keep the shirt in its place. Um, so like I said, you're going to pull that one side that's not wrapped around your back. Keep pulling it as much as you can and wrap it to the side of your waist or to the back. Um, so this is a 1x shirt. Um, if you guys get, if you guys want to size up and if you're a little bigger, you want to be able to do this look, just get a bigger size shirt or you can try a men's. Um, so after you're done with that, make sure you grab it good because if you don't, it will come loose. But it won't once you're done, um, once it's complete. But just make sure you're um, grabbing it good. Um, so like I said, you're going to take both ends, wrap them around your waist, and then they're going to actually meet on the side. Um, you're going to grab it and then almost like you're tying it a knot, but you're not going to do that. It's like a just that first part to the knot and then you're going to close it up and they're actually going to safety pin that. You don't have to go grab my handy dandy safety pin. I need to stop being lazy and order my heavy duties. But for this video purpose, you're just going to take that and then just pin it um, where that part was. Um so, like I said, you're going to grab it, wrap it, and then tie it in a knot, but don't tie it all the way into a knot. Just do a halfway knot and then safety pin it. Um, when you're done with the safety pin, you're going to just tuck it under and then pull the shirt over it. Um, so, then you're going to start adjusting the shirt to make it look how you want it to look. Um, I had to take my bra off for this um, one so you guys can get the full gift of it. So that's that's the look, guys, and that's the back. Um, you can tuck, like, if you don't want that part to be out, you guys can tuck that side in. Um, if you want the cut to be a little bit wider, just roll each side. That's what I'm doing. I'm just rolling each side. 
rolling it a little further in um if you don't want the cut to be that big you can just expand it a little bit but i like it to be like a good a nice size cut um so guys that is the look i wanted to come a little closer so you guys can see like i said if you don't want that part in over there just tuck it into the pants but i did like the way this looks um it was super cute super fun um super easy and it doesn't come a loose it doesn't come a loose um but make sure you guys use heavy duty safety pins that's the side and that is the back um guys like i said i strongly recommend heavy duty safety pins if you can tie it in a knot tie it in a full knot and then safety pin it but if you can't that's okay but here is the look guys thanks for watching we're getting ready to go into look two hey guys we are back for a look to the one arm one sleeve shirt so you know i like to give you a front view and a back view every single time we do these videos guys so we're going to go ahead and unbutton that shirt once again and once you're done unbuttoning it you're going to flip that collar down once again once that collar is flipped down you're going to choose whichever side you want to um pull it over um so your sleeve is actually going to be what you're going to use to wrap around but first we're going to go ahead and adjust this side make sure the collar's tucked in pretty good um make sure the shirt is um comfortable to your liking at the neck um and then you're going to tuck it in on the side after the buttons are rolled in i wanted to show you guys the back um, once the buttons are rolled in, you're going to take that one side, just pull it to the back and then take that other arm and wrap it around. Okay. Wrap it all the way around. Wanted to do a full spin for you guys. And then I want to show you guys again, you're going to take that sleeve and wrap it around your waist. And remember that other side, take that out because you're actually going to use that to tie it to that sleeve. Yes. You're using that side to tie it to the sleeve i repeat you're using the side that you pulled over to tie it to the sleeve that you just wrapped around your waist so once you're done make sure you get a good portion of that and you're going to take it pull it give it a good tug and then you're going to do the same thing um not if you can tie it in a knot tie it in a knot but i couldn't um if you get a really stretchy shirt, it would be simple, but this wasn't. So you're just going to tie it in a half knot. And then again, I had to go grab my handy dandy safety pin um, because that's what I use. Um, so after you grab your safety pin, um, go ahead and pin it on there. But you want to make sure your safety pin is not showing. So just make sure you're doing that to where your safety pin doesn't show um don't mind me every single time i get with these safety pins i seem to struggle but i actually did it quick this time so adjust it um you can tuck it under here um uh oh i had a little bit of trouble guys um when you're done with the safety pinning um you can get multiple looks with this um so i'm gonna wait until unfortunately i complete this safety pin when you're done safety pinning, like I said, you guys can either tuck it um, under there and leave it in a knot. And then if you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of ways to um, have fun with this shirt. But of course, adjust it and get it to look how you want it to look. I had to take the um, bra off so you guys can get the full gift of my shirt. Um, but you guys can wear this in multiple looks. Have fun with it. Get creative with it. I chose to pull the shirt over for the first one um and it's easy you could just untuck it and then that piece back there is covered up and you can wear it just like so um a front view and a back view um and like i said have fun with it guys make sure you're getting creative and have the shirt look how you desire it to look um because everybody's um style or everybody's thought process or what they want it to look like may be different um but i did like this was one of the ways you can wear it um just like so um see i had to adjust that and as i'm literally watching the video i'm like anna pull it down um so but someone else may have preferred to wear up so this is what the back looks looks like guys for um this particular look and then we're actually going to try to do a different look now
All right, guys, so another way is just retucking it back in. So you're just going to take that side um, and just retuck it in. The same way you pulled it out, just tuck it back in. Um, and it may look a little different because um, it's just being tucked in a little differently. But this is actually the fun of just being creative with your closet. You know, it's just different looks. Um, so like I said, you can either pull it out um, and then retuck it. Um, just how we did like so and then leave it out like that um, and just leave the little um, ball or bow. You can leave it in a bow if you want or just leave it in the ball. It's up to you. Um, but either way, it's super cute. Um, so here's the side and here's the back to that look. So um, if I had to choose, I actually like um, this look as well. I love all of the looks. And then um, I didn't want to skip a step. So I ended up just tucking the shirt in. You guys can see excuse the undies but i didn't want you guys to miss a part because a lot of people will say you didn't show us what you did next all i did was tuck in the shirt that's it um so you're just going to simply just tuck that shirt in and there you have it another look super cute um super quick and super easy and it's a completely different look completely different look and then again that um you can see the little ball but if you want to do the tuck in and you don't want the ball to show just um Pull it back out and pull it over and then tuck it back in. And you guys are good to go. Thanks so much for watching.